Hey everybody, Rodman here. Thanks for tuning in to the Outer World Supernova Difficulty. So here we are, picking Captain, up. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from Dr. Wells. The transmission is marked with priority status. Urgent! Captain, I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. The board is here. They found me somehow. They're about to blast my door open. I can't stop them from getting me, and there isn't enough time to explain everything. But there's something very important you need to remember. The board, all their lackeys, they're all a bunch of swine. Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine. You fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me! I'll never... It would seem the recording captured some rather dire events. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible. How can I be of assistance? Um, See you soon, Captain. Bye-bye. Okay, so clearly uh, we're about to go into the a big quest chain, I think. So let's head to Phineas's lab. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? I'm not congratulating you. Uh, so I am potentially going to be running into some corporate soldiers, but, uh, yeah, let's have at it. Nyoka and Max. Strange combination, but the reason I'm going with them is they can shoot people to the ground. Oddly enough, I'm actually not seeing corporate soldiers out here yet. <clears throat> Well, I don't think Phineas is standing there anymore. Oh, yeah, here we go. Corporate technician. This one. Here's a little trick I learned in prison. That's a weird trick to learn in prison. So, if I'm going to war with the corporations now, I'm probably, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lift my uh, rule against heavy armor for myself, because I suspect uh, death, a whole lot of death, uh, and I don't want to die. I've done well so far, and let's try to continue that trend. Okay, so what are we doing? Uh, corporate pigs, blah, 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 coming over here. I can hack bypass this terminal. Personal files. Um, the Hope made it, but 25 years too late. Board doesn't know what to do with them. Uh, regeneration after long-term hibernation. is really just a question of thermo thermodynamics, and he's going to attempt to do it. Next journal entry. People are only living 113 seconds, almost two minutes. Most people just... I mean, remember at the start of the game when he was like, oh, you're not like a blob of soup. And he was kind of surprised, and he was happy about that. So I guess most people end up dying. He's killed 12 so far. Um, but he's saying even if he has to kill 500, um, the population of the Hope is so great that, you know, it's not a big deal, I guess. And the final entry is the board discovered what he's been doing, and they are headhunting after him. They say he's a murderer, and they're right. I actually disagree. If everybody on the Hope was basically in cryo, never to be alive again, then they're dead. And what he was trying to do is revive us. But that's just mine. Uh, open panel, sure. So yeah, I, I guess he was asking for forgiveness about getting everyone killed, but... Oh, well, the terminal password is right there, in case I wasn't able to hack it. But yeah, I disagree. I think, um, I think that, uh, he's not a murderer, he's a savior. But I, I guess that's, that's the whole roleplay, right? So, the panel is over here, and this is a napkin for Tartarus. And 
an assault rifle that I'm guessing Phineas never used to defend himself. I'm not going to loot Phineas's lab, uh, but let's get back to the ship. So, we have to go rescue Phineas, don't we? Crew report. Bioka is drunk. Surprise. Captain, as it appears we may soon be embarking for a maximum security prison planet, I believe the crew would like to speak with you to, as you humans put it, air some concerns. Okay. Doc Wells never hurt nobody. Just a kindly old fella living by his lonesome up in the rings, tinkering at his table. The board just couldn't leave him be. I'm not one for pointless heroism, but the board's gonna be after us next. We gonna finish what we started? To extract the scientist, you will need to infiltrate the labyrinth. But that course of action is likely to be quite dangerous, Captain. Uh, we can't amend Phineas. We'll have to free him if it's any hope of saving the colony. I am programmed to warn you whenever you exhibit inclinations toward risky behavior. Breaking into Tartarus will not be easy. Getting in is the simple part. It's getting out again that's the trouble. Trust me, I know. Let's just do it. Kick down some doors, grab Doc Wells, and cut a path out. We don't need a plan. We got guns. If you really mean to do this, you should see to your final affairs and close out any unfinished business. Once you sneak into Tartarus, you may be there a while. Or permanently. Uh, what do you all think about this? It's the craziest plan I've ever heard. And I mean that as a compliment. You didn't hire me to think. And I ain't about to start now. You're my boss. And I'll walk into fire with you. I think it's insane. But maybe the colony needs a healthy dose of insanity right about now. I know it's dangerous. And I won't lie and say I'm not scared out of my wits. But I couldn't live with myself if we didn't do something. You're asking for more than bravery from us, Captain. But there are worse ways to go than dying for a good cause. I'm in. Let Sam get the grime out. It's what our units do best. The entire plan is a terrible idea. But I admire your bravado, Captain. Which leads me to illogically believe, against the odds, that you will be successful. Thanks, I guess. Alright, everyone strap in. Let's do it. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna prepare. Gonna prepare? Sure. Guess I could give my ass-kicking boots another coat of Paul. I have never had a plan, and I'm not uh, starting now, buddy. Now that's... <laughs> yeah. Alright. Uh, but I am, I am planning. Uh, so what I want to do is, uh, before I go, let's crack my ankle. There we go. Um, let's get some better gear. So I'm going to go to the Groundbreaker, providing that the... Well, it was really the Mardez. I'm here in order to gear up Max, Nyoka, and myself as much as I can. So first things first, let's see what I have in storage. Oh, we also could level up Ellie and Felix, yada, 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 yada. Who else? Nyoka. Oh. Sam. <clears throat> okay, so I want to get as good armor as I can. I'm also going to modify my weapons to be the best that they are able to be. Uh, I don't know exactly what I'm facing, but I think I'm going to bring a multitude of the science weapons as well. Um, let's see, what are the good weapons from here? Not a whole lot of them are good. Uh, this was the... Nope. I think it was just, really, the shrink ray was the, the bread and butter. Good word. Most of these uh, unique weapons can't be modified, so they kind of suffer a bit. Uh, as far as armor goes, the Jolikur armor is good. Most of these helmets are trash by modern standards. The Jolikur armor, I think, makes most sense to put it on Max, because it's kind of what he looks like already. Uh, so his armor is 16. This brings him up to 53. He looks 
dapper, I guess. Uh, what I will do is put his armor away. So as to not uh, toss it out or whatever. Okay. And then I, I'm going to be on the market for armor for myself uh, and Nyoka. And Max if I find better armor. Um, I think that's going to be my lineup to go in there. Um, having the ability to shoot knockdown, I hope, is going to be helpful. Time will tell, won't it? All right, so I'm going to scrounge around the... Yeesh. Uh, around the vendors and things, hoping to find... Okay, so, like, this is pretty tough armor that I could buy. Elite gold. Um... What just happened? That was weird. We'll do some quick trading. Uh, you don't have armor that's worth anything. Ish. Yeah, I might need to go somewhere else. The armor that they're selling here is pretty bad. I might need to go to vending machines. Uh, yeah, let's get out of here. Not a whole lot of faith about the gear there. Uh, I might need to go to vending machines on the hardest worlds I've been to so far. Which... Some crew members are causing a... Nah, I don't care. Um, Monarch? It's sort of the hardest place I've been to, so I'll go to the Cascadia landing pad and see if any of the many machines around there have better gear. We're in orbit over Cascadia, Captain. I'm hungry and thirsty. Crew member I'm fighting. Behind you. Don't lock up behind me. Uh, Alright, off we go. And then once I find a decent armor, I will mod it up, because we're breaking into a... Maximum security prison, so. You cannot. Really? No? Nothing here? Understand the problem. I don't care about the surcharge. Man, that's a pinch of jump. You free yourself from the desire for an answer. <sighs> Funny machines. Let's. Poke around. I could also go into the cities around here as well. Maybe they have better armor. I guess I should have been I should have been collecting high tier armor this whole time. But that I now pay for. It's telling me there's a vending machine right here. Oh, yep. No, that's not good enough. Alright, let's back to the ship and stop at Fallbrook, maybe. Or... Captain, Felix and the Vicar. Don't care. No, that's not what I meant to do. Um, Fallbrook. We're now in orbit above Fallbrook, Captain. Thank you. Never stop to appreciate how hideous Auntie Cleo is. Auntie Cleo is one ugly woman. I can't help but to think it's an homage to Mom Corp, but that's just my guess. Okay, so here's some elite gold armor. A bit of a markup. But, um, 
decently strong stuff. It's the strongest I've seen so far. Most of this stuff is junk. You shopping for trade? Getting a big discount, but that's a huge flamethrower. And plasma launcher. Yeah, these, these are some pretty good weapons here. Um, but I don't really know what kind. Of, oh, and the sublight knife. Uh, I don't know what kind of weapons I need going in where I'm going. Check for armor. Often I think you can just look at the price tag to see how expensive it is. I am getting a bit of a discount here. Um, but no. Sadly, they do not have amazing stuff. That's the insurance agency. Have you seen Arthur today? Right, one more vending machine, and then I'm outie. Gross. Hmm. I'm trying to think where else I could go. I guess I have my two pieces of armor. Um, so mine would be... Let's give myself the best stuff. And then... Nyoka. You are going to get this. Cool. Let's put her hiking gear away so I don't accidentally sell it. Oh, you know, actually, uh, take that back. Hold on. Where's the Vicar Max's stuff? I want to modify their gear up so that they're tougher. So, Max, give me the Jolikur. And Nyoka, give me your yeah, hiking gear. Tinker! Uh, no. Modify. Sorry. So, on uh, looking at it, the Jola Kerr stuff can't be modified, only the Okas. Uh, that's alright. So, here's her elite troop armor. And I can give her toughened for more physical armor. Um, this gives immortality if you get hurt too much. That sounds pretty good. Um, more range skills. And, I don't know, Nightingale. So this is a very nice piece of armor. Hopefully I find something for, um... Hmm. I don't need to hear your confession. Um. I'm gonna go to Byzantium. I know they're hostile with me, but I might be able to pick up some armor out of the guards. We are now in orbit above Byzantium, Captain. The war before the war, right? Now let's modify my own stuff after I eat it and drink a little bit more. So, my own armor. Here it is. Let's just assume that this is the best stuff I can get. Let's add toughened. And uh, add the chrono field, which gives TTD, time dilation. Uh, let's add to my leadership and dialogue. And last but not least, uh, Nightingale. Alright, and I could probably tinker the heck out of it. Uh... 
Oops, I'm tinkering the wrong thing. Oh, and that is maxed out. So this is the highest tinker I can get, but that's pretty good armor. I want to mow my helmet. Expensive. Ooh, too expensive now. Well, that's a very good helmet. Okay. I just tinkered my pants off. And let's add the Jolikur armor on uh, Vicar Max because I don't want him super vulnerable. And uh, yes. Okay. Let's go see if we can find better armor for him quickly. And then get back on track. So these troopers down here are hostile. Here we go. Don't mess with us. That one's done for. I sort of assumed, yeah, it's a war. But this helps to replace some of the. I'm not gonna steal. I'll just take what's free. Uh, this helps to replace some of the bits I just burned, tinkering them with my own helmet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How good is this helmet? No. What's that? I think if I go up this elevator, it's going to turn into, like, quite the guerrilla warfare, but I'm okay with that. Time to massacre, right? There's a time for peace and a time for war, and the time for peace with the board is over. So a lot of citizens here that I just don't care to really shoot. They're not going to have stuff worth my time. I'm here for the corporate stooges. The soldiers, that is. Ooh, I like the battle music. Some of these guys don't even have gear. Elite troop armor. All right, that is about equivalent to the Joe Lecur stuff that he's got, but I could modify it. I'm right, paying out the nose for church charge at the Auntie Cleos. Who's this? Rizzo's. All right, Rizzo's a little, little bit more reasonable. All right, I want to make bits, so selling my old stuff, keeping their unique or their. Given armor. I also want water, but they only really have caffeine there. They have like one thing of water. Yes, cower. Go. 
I like don't know. Wow, there is a lot of trash in this river though. They should really clean up. <laughs> Move, lady. Here they come. That was me, dude. Bartender trying to kill us. Got some random note. Well, they're screaming for mercy, but then they're also fighting us. Uh, nope, not good. Well, if Tartar well, I am imagining Tartarus is a little bit harder than Byzantium. The quality of the gear that I'm getting off these guys is kind of meh. If I'm to make a noise instead of words. So that's a commander. If he doesn't ha if his armor is not very good, I'm just going to leave cuz it would signify that I'm not likely to get anything of worth here. Oh, he didn't even have armor. Boo! Go away, citizen. Alright, here's the Acropolis. With more guards. Nice stall worth. He's unique. Maybe he'll have something good. Guess I haven't checked. Oh, hello. <laughs> yeah, not a whole lot of mercy, sorry. Uh, so Stallworth. Nope, just Adreno. Standard troop armor. Okay. I think it's pretty safe to conclude I am not going to find what I want from this area. So I'm in combat, so I can't fast travel. Am I out of? Nope. Still in combat. Fine. I'll just keep clearing out the guards in your city. If you don't want me to fast travel away. I don't think the river... Well, oh, oh, come on. It's not even let me jump over it. Drop. Crunch. The most damage I've taken from this city so far, and all of its guards, is, uh... Fall damage. What do you suppose all that ruckus and suppression was about? It would be unseemly. Well, look at all these mag picks just laying around. I guess uh, my attempt here is not totally in vain. I guess we did find one piece of armor, but for all the guards that we killed, uh, a lot of work, not a lot of benefit. Still preventing me from fast traveling, even though the hostels here are... Uh, well, they're all uh, colonists, 
and they're not really here to fight me. Nice elevator music. I've almost never written this down. It's almost always up. Just firing to see if there's any guards around that I haven't accounted for. Oh, Carmen got a little spooked. Okay. Well, that was mostly a bust. But my armor is nice and tough. Uh, so, Vicar Max will give you. Oh, no, I don't even have good armor for you. Dang. I think I sold all it. Crew members. There is only one toilet. Tinker armor. So I've tinkered the heck out of my own. And this is Nyoka's. I'm going to tinker it until then. And then this is the Jola Kerr. All right. Tinker, tinker, tinker. Um, the best helmets here on everyone else. I'm going to grab anyone else's helmets that are uh, better. Wow, Felix, you've been really neglected. So, Nioka's, what is your helmet at? Your helmet's like 46... I think Parvati has something better. No, it's another 46. Sam, you don't wear helmets. Uh, Max, your helmet's 46 as well. So you have the advanced defensive golds. So let me go grab those and tinker those up too. So these two advanced defensive golds. Uh, Parvati, I think yours might actually be better. Yeah. So these two. Yeah. Tinker, tinker, tinker. All right, that looks pretty good. Um, preparing all my weapons and armor and all that jazz. Now over to Nyoka. So her armor is a bit higher. And Vicar Max. Okay, so them them two are tanky now. Proper, proper tanky. Um, the next bit is modifying my own guns. So I'm probably not going to have a pistol here. I'm going to plan on having the Shrink Ray as my primary. The Phineas Force here I'll put away. Uh, so let's modify the Assault Rifle, I think, is I, I like it how it is. Or, no, actually, a different set on it. Let's give it a um, Exacto Sight for a little bit more damage. And then my Hunting Rifle here, I'm going to do a Whisper. Uh, Zap is fine. And also the exacta sight. My shotgun, fun times barrel, and power mag, plasma mag, that's fine. Um, okay. And then Nyoka's weapon is this HMG, so let's modify that. Let's give that uh, rate of fire barrel and. Shock mag. And then what is Vicar Max's weapon? So Nyoka's weapon has both those mods in it. I don't really care about melee. Uh, so he also has an LMG MK2. I'm going to give him the Deadeye assault rifle here. And I'm going to modify that up. Fun times barrel. Give him um, plasma and extend a sight. Then I'm going to tinker those guns so their guns do more damage. And then I'll tinker my own and drop every last bit 
that I have in my own. Oh, Nyoka's gonna have one heavy pack punch weapon there. Uh, Alright, so 2k, 2k. Oof. Steep prices. I guess I'll improve my shrink ray. Kind of a weird thing to do, but it's pretty cheap. Not a lot of bits until it gets up there. Alright, so I'm just about destitute. Alright, I'm straight destitute now, but my weapons are better. Uh, and... Nyoka, her weapon is crazy good. And she looks like some sort of giant marine, and his weapon's pretty good too. Um... Make sure their AI is right. Far aggressive ranged. Far aggressive ranged. Okay. We're pretty good. Let's start to Tartarus. Would I like to save? I think I would. I am pleased to inform you that we have arrived at the Labyrinth. Please be advised that the punishment for trespassing is execution. Please be advised that electrical storms on the surface of Tartarus make departure impossible at this time. So, I can't leave, and oh, trespassing speak of the devil. Captain, is death. I am receiving a transmission from the prison's docking authority now. Attention, unauthorized spacecraft. This is a maximum security installation. Your presence here is an explicit violation of UDL corporate policy. You are hereby confined to your docking platform until a ticket detailing your crimes has been filed and notarized, at which point your vessel will be seized and you will be executed. How long will that take? I wager it'll take a bit longer than it takes you to lose your patience and storm out of your ship looking to get shot. To be honest, that'd make my job a lot easier. You come out, we shoot you full of holes, and then everyone goes about their day worry-free. Except you. You'll be dead. Um, you're just going to kill me? No arrest or anything? We're on lockdown. We have standing orders to shoot intruders on sight. Tartarus Docking Authority signing up. Hang on. Looks like you're going to have company at the execution. Another ship just pulled into your dock. Wait, is that from the Groundbreaker? What the? Pay no mind to that. Just have a pleasant day. Transmission terminated. How can I be of assistance? I'm good. May luck be with you. Of course, as I am sure you are aware, luck does not exist. But it seems to comfort humans to believe they possess good quantities of it. Thanks. So here's what I'm going to do. Unfortunately for you all, I bet I'm heading into some sort of epic fight. Uh, and with that in mind, I... Don't have a lot of time left on this episode to start said epic fight. So instead, I'm going to save here and we'll have to pick this up next time. But I am very well set and geared for said fight. Uh, what I will do is store my maws to lighten my current load. And then store some of the backup armors and all that. But then we'll be ready to uh, duke it out. Uh, looking good. I do need some water before. That's caffeine. Man, I really hate how they did the consumables here. Alright, food and... Where's my water? Base health. Maybe I don't even have any liquids anymore. I'll just drink caffeine. Alright. Well, guys, uh, that's about it for this episode, as I warned. Uh, sorry that it only went up to, what, uh, 40 minutes or so, but next episode should be pretty crazy. Thanks for watching, I'll catch you all later. Adios.